Today for my daily sketch, I am going to uh, sketch R2D2. So the first thing that we're going to do to make R2D2 is that we have to create a half circle. Okay. You have to look at the edge of the object that you're going to draw. I am going to draw R2D2 from observation. So I have an R2D2 in front of me and I'm looking at this 3D object and I'm going to create a 2D drawing. And for this particular drawing, I am using a thin uh, mechanical pencil because it does have a lot of detail and I'm working at a small scale in my sketchbook. To be able to do a good job at dividing and you know, like um, making sure that my object is correct, I need to um, have a line of symmetry. The top of the object is kind of rounded. There's a roundness to our two, so we need to make sure that we get that roundness. Even as I'm looking at it, I'm going, wait. <laughs> He's rounder than that. A little steeper right here. All right, and once we get this going, I can continue to look at all the details that are on this particular object. We're gonna line up this section right here and create a rectangle that goes only this far. <clears throat> he has like a little camera, something round that goes inside there. So that will help you to see how big it needs to be. Again, use a mechanical pencil because these are super intricate details for these particular drawing. Um, up here, we have like a line that's gonna go right here. And you know, normally to get into my my curves, I do turn my sketchbook. It's really hard to try to film and do this in a different way because I normally would turn my sketchbook and work with gravity, work with the natural curve of my hand. And it's super easy that way. This is a bit harder because I'm on the inside instead of it's like a weird angle for me. Let's put it that way. Okay. This part here feels too open. It's a bit narrower. Yeah, that's more like it. And what you can do to make this feel like it flows, just draw it all like this and then erase the parts that you don't want. So go right here. <clears throat> okay. We're gonna continue to go down here and see the distance between these sections. Like right here, between here and here, it has to be about this much. And then there's a little section right here. And once you come out here, then this is gonna curve. I'm not gonna go too far out yet. This one also curves. To create the illusion of roundness on R2, we have to curve it out, okay? But for now, I'm not, I'm not gonna go too far. Um, once I get these, then I'm gonna get, there's like a blue stripe right here, from here to here, then a wide stripe right here. And then he has this section that is like a one then skinny line, then two, it's like one, skinny, two, skinny, 
and then three. And the details of those sections we will do in a little bit. Right now, we're just laying out the right proportions to make sure that we have enough room for everything to fit into the drawing, okay? Then after that, there's a line right here. And below that, there's a section and it lines up with this. So we're gonna go right here, air draw, and then touch down right, right here. And it lines up with this side. See, I have the line of symmetry helping me to stay straight. And I air draw, then I come down here. And I need to put inside of these, I need to have two sections that are like this. They are not perfect, but it's something similar to that. Something along those lines. Then I go right here and I'm gonna tweak that later. I'm just trying to just make room to make sure that I have everything that goes in this drawing. Then there is like a... Like a section right here. And below that, there's a little space. And this one is a bit smaller than the top one. And this drawing is gonna take us a while. This drawing is gonna take some time. Hold on a second. Which means this can be a little bit bigger. This little guy is a circle. We have some details on the inside of that. Then right here you do diagonal and a diagonal. And then a diagonal and then a diagonal. I'm not gonna get too lost into detail, but I know this much is, is right. Okay. This could probably be a little bit bigger. Um, to be honest. So I'm gonna get a little bit lower right here. Hang on. And do this rectangle. And then give it a little space. Make this one a bit bigger. that gives me room to split this one in half. Watch this. And this will help me to have an idea of how big to make this, guys. And they're quite close to each other. Every time you have to look, you have to look, you have to look. You have to look at the object you're drawing. You cannot try to remember what you're seeing. You have to look. I'm just looking and looking and staring it down. Something more like that. Okay, so that's better. It's still a little bit wonky, a little bit crooked, but it's much, much better now. Okay, up here, um, I'm gonna add some more details in here and then we're gonna get to do the arms of R2. Um, but so far, it goes like this. Um, very good. Okay, let's see, between this one and this one, there's a space. And this line actually goes up here. Very good. The more you look, the more you'll see, okay? And as you warm up into the drawing, it takes about 15 minutes for you to really get into this. And I always uh, say that when you draw, you don't talk. But right now I'm doing a tutorial, so I have to talk. So. Something like this. I'm still going very carefully, slowly, carefully doing this. 
with, so I'm just being so careful. Okay, up here. Just go so a little, a tad further. And then this one and this one. Connect. It goes here to here. Above it, we see just a tiny bit. side you see a little something and this has two sections divided wow lots of details on this okay on this side we have what looks like circle but it's like our two little it's one of those little cameras that he has and it goes in like a circle then another circle and then over here like another circle and that's part of our two then right here This line is going to help us to know how far to go here. So we're going to take this line, we're going to go super soft, keep it straight, coming down here. You see me very soft. This line is going to help us to know how far to go with some stuff. Okay. And wow, lots of details down there. On this side, we have this much space. Inside here, we have, watch this. You get to this corner and this is where you're gonna start, watch. You're gonna make a little line. And then you're gonna make a rectangle that matches this rectangle. Watch this, here, here, and then match, match. Just like that. And then here, here, and now I know for sure this one goes here. Clean that out. Then next to that, you see it starts right here, it ends right there. You need to make those tiny little um, lines to help you. Over here. Next to this, we're going to have a tiny space, like so. And in this space, we're going to have like a rectangle, like so, and a little bit of space right here. And then this goes back, it goes back right there. Very good. That's how that one goes. Okay. Then on this side, we have three different lines. I'm just going very slowly and very carefully um, trying to figure out how far we're going to go with these lines. Um, the line that goes right here goes like this. And then this line is going to come up to here and it's going to go out to Hold on. Ooh. We have two little rectangle things right here. It's like they look more like squares. Okay, and then below that, I'm trying to see. Where this one begins, that's how far we're gonna go. Okay, now I got. up to here 
Okay, and then there's a little space. And then right here. Wow, now my dog's barking. Awesome. <laughs> okay, dog's barking. All right, so right there. Um, this is how far the line is going to go. And then this line is going to go all the way down. And as I'm making this line, I'm looking at this line to help me stay straight. Okay. So looking at all of that. And then. Okay. Very good. There's like a skinny. Wow. There's like a skinny line below here. out remember doing a little bit of a curve a little bit of a curve it's like a nice gentle smile right there and clean as you go clean as you go and this is gonna be dark so let's do it right now as we're going darken it just a little bit there it is something gray then here is where we're gonna go this goes right below here okay and right up to up to here Check this out. It curves ever so slightly, ever so slightly. And once you get this done, you can color it in. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit darker right here. The other ones are kind of tricky. This one's gonna be a little trickier because it goes like up to this point. I'm looking at this rectangle with the circle. And it goes a little bit into it, like about this far. And there's where it is. And it does this little thing. It's really interesting. Goes in and then it comes out here and then it goes like this. Watch this. And then it gets skinnier. So this one's tricky. out so it's like this it's like a rectangle right but not as not all the way like that one then it goes in in just a hair and then it comes out like this it's kind of pointy okay maybe even less let me see it goes further out further out in an angle other side is kind of skinny right here it comes as far as the same distance right here oh it's really tricky and then it goes in straight down here again this is how far we go this is how far we go this is the next section Oof. this section is gonna go just as far as we had it right here and right here is just a little bit and then it opens it goes out watch mm -hmm. and then it connects color it in just shade it shade it in okay we got to break it down into tiny parts tiny parts and once we get this little bit 
we're gonna go skinny right here and then it opens up like an arrow opens like an arrow and we're gonna go this far you see we already had it marked and it kind of curves just a little bit but not too much and that's how far that goes okay it's something like that it's, it's very close to what it needs to be and right here this this line is gonna stay this line needs to be a little darker and over here we're gonna move over just the hair about the same distance as this right it's symmetrical it's the same so we're gonna go about that much Ooh, I went off just a little bit these tiny lines as I go. It's super hard. Okay. Now that I have these, it's incredible. These two go inside a section. And then over here, see this line? This line is gonna come out. And it's gonna come out here. section so this is looking very good I'm for sure that this is how that is okay and you can always clean it up a little bit more that's pretty good the next thing we're gonna do continue to work our way down I want to make sure this is nice and straight I'm still looking at my line of symmetry okay I'm looking at this line this line okay, make sure this one's looking straight it's feeling straight looking and feeling straight then over here I have this thing it's almost like it curves the corner like this but um, it goes wider than I thought so it goes a little bit closer to the curve closer to the curve and it's almost like a square ish thing and it goes right here kind of squarish and what's really cool is that here I can just go ahead now and relax go and relax and make this part all shaded in just shade it color it in color it in color it in and that's gonna be helpful and now I can fix this a little bit more well this drawing is gonna take a while because it's super super detail then these ones are interesting it has like these little lines it's like a little windows okay and this one is got like two little lines and then windows. Don't ask me. That's how it is. Okay. So this one's wide all the way to the edges and this one has two lines and then it's like a ladder that goes in there. Then this one matches the corners. And we're trying to keep it straight, trying to follow that line of symmetry we're looking at this section does not get colored and then this one is smaller this one is a little bit in see a little bit in so it's a little bit smaller than that other one and it hugs the curve right here and this one is very intricate it has the circle and then inside the circle it has these little things that make a it's like these little triangles that create like a T okay and it has like a circle in the middle and that's what that one is but wow it has a lot of detail and then down here
to color a little bit like this. And that's how this one is. Okay, and that's what that is. Hmm. Now we're gonna continue with this thing. You see this line right here? So this line goes out and out. Here it goes all the way to the edge to here and here to here. See, it matches the corners. Very nice. There's some space in between. And then we're gonna make like a straight line. And a straight line. On this side, it goes all the way down to here. So it goes like this all the way straight to here and then it comes out and then it matches that one watch this okay. and inside it you're gonna make it's like a frame go inside it curve all the way to the corner no, actually it doesn't goes to here and this one's gonna go all the way down to here it follows this curves ever so slightly and then it comes here keep the distance as even as you can it is hard again use a mechanical pencil for this drawing because wow it's so hard again another little frame so you had to make a little frame and if you need to pause this video, please pause, rewind, and so forth, okay? So I have this panel and that panel. And this is looking good. Let's see what happens in here. Ooh, here we have some really cool stuff. In here we have a rectangle and it goes mm, a little bit. I'm looking for the middle part here. It goes, I think I got it. It's right there. It's exactly where I had it. This rectangle and then this rectangle lines up with that make this rectangle then in here you're gonna have a section that has a bunch of little buttons this is gonna be where you line it up right here super softly I'm making a line and you get R2 has a panel right here and it has a section between here and there and this line now continues see that right here and it goes only this far and this there's a line right here now you have a second panel see it this one has some buttons and it's like one two three four five six buttons so if you're gonna do six buttons my strategy would be to go find the middle and then here you're gonna do your six buttons and these are tricky I'm looking at them as an, an, in an angle but I'm gonna make them like this uh, one two see it one two and then one two and that makes those buttons kind of even i am going to simplify this part because it's really 3d and there is not big enough to be able to make that much detail so we're gonna work it like this this is gonna have the same kind of frame that that one has it's like one inside the other and that's how i'm gonna do that one 
Oh, this is this is pretty cool. Then at the end right here, I'm gonna see the end of this. I'm gonna make a little line. And then there's a section right here. Right there it is. It goes, it matches this one air draw touch. And it goes like that. And touch with your eraser ever so gently. See, you just stab it, dab dab, and then go like this. Ugh, I went too far. Dab again. There it is. So it has a section right here, then it has these, and over here, not in the corner, but just a tad after. You're gonna make a line, and now I'm gonna clean this line before I even start. Hold on, I have it right here. Getting rid of a little bit of that line that we did earlier. This is gonna match the end of this line. So I'm gonna go up to here, and then I'm gonna connect these. You see, always keeping an eye on the distance and making sure that this flow, air draw, touch, checking that everything matches. Then this one is gonna match to here. And again, it has like a slight curve, don't forget the curve. So as you're coming back, it also ends right there and there you have it perfect little by little this is how you do it it's a puzzle this is a visual puzzle it's the best so we have this much done for R2 there's a whole row of things down here but let's see what's happening on this left side okay so looking at this line See it right here? And then I'm gonna make this line come down. See how I'm holding the pencil way back? I'm still using that strategy uh, to control the softness. Feathery strokes right here, very soft. And then it does not go all the way to the end. So I am gonna leave some space right here. It's about this much, how much I see. Here. and now I'm going to see where does this start it starts where this one ends so I'm gonna go back create that curve see how we have this curve create this curve and that tells me where it's gonna begin so it starts right here and then I'm gonna figure out where it ends it ends down here so again looking at the curve this curve, same as this curve, same as this curve. Right. And this is the section that I'm gonna make right now. So I'm just gonna go darker. I'm gonna go darker. We're breaking it down, putting it back together again. For me, this is a challenge because I usually flip my book around and get very comfortable, but since I'm filming this, I cannot do so much flipping and it makes it hard for me. At home, you can probably flip it around as much as you want. Okay, this one's gonna have like that little frame <clears throat> inside like that. It's another panel similar similar to this one. It's actually perfectly symmetrical. That one and that one. And now we're going to create another section down here. R2 has another thing. And this one doesn't quite touch the edge. It goes just a little bit higher than the edge. It's not like that one, which is sitting on the line. This one's not sitting on the line. It goes just a little bit higher. So let me define the line. So now we know where we are. And then we go up. And this one goes right here. Follow the line. It's a little curve going up. Don't make the mistake to go straight because that will completely throw it off. You have to be aware that this is going to have this little 
like rings that go this direction. Okay. There's like a section right here that is kind of thick right there. I'm gonna keep it very soft. And then to get the lines that I have, that I see in between, I'm gonna count just one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go right here and make one, and then two, three, four, five. And that's pretty close. This line here is to see how far it goes. So I'm gonna have to bring it down just a little bit. Okay, excellent. And now I can get rid of some of these lines as I go. There's another little thing right here and it lines up with this and it goes below this. So I'm gonna go air draw then touch. You see it? I'm kind of like air drawing, touch. And over here on this side, it lines up with this. Do so you see this part? Air draw, touch. And now I can close it. And remember the ring, right? Remember it goes up. So here I draw it super soft. There we go. I draw it super soft. Now that I know, I can make it a little darker. Now let me see what's inside it. Ooh, very cool. It has like a little line right there, a little line right here. It makes like a little square. A line right here, a line down here, and then it has a line that's a diagonal line right there. I'm very proud of that. That looks good. All right, on this side. Wow, this is looking so awesome. I'm, I'm loving this drawing. Come right here. I'm gonna curve right to the bottom. And then right here, I am going to make another line. And then another line. Very nice. Let me see this one. So I'm gonna make this a little darker now that I know. That's where they go. And curve it a little darker. It's a little darker. Since we made them so soft, uh, we can just touch gently and they go away. Very gently. Uh, if you do all of these with pen and ink, like get a pen and then do it with a thin Sharpie, like go over everything, then you can just erase really well, okay? But this is how we're doing it with pencil today. Now, we have some other things we're gonna put in this section. This line is going to go air draw, air draw, and then touch. one's gonna happen not right on the edge but just a little bit in and then out don't forget this goes curve see the line goes curve the line goes curve super softly and now I can make this hard watch go heavy heavy make a harder line heavy heavy go heavy on this line 
go heavy on this line and here we have like a little octagon like a diagonal then straight then diagonal again then go out then in out and then it kind of goes away to the edge this is the edge of the edge of r2 right here go heavy below here on the second section we have a line that goes in and in again and actually i can see this one right here and back here i can see a little bit right there okay um that's within 95 percent accuracy i think <laughs> Whoa, that's very exciting. I know it's taking a long time. Now over here on this section, hold on, let me double check. We have, wow, we need a line right here. And we need a line right here. Slightly curved, don't forget. Here is where the arms are gonna go. Ready? Go away. I'm gonna make a line out and a line out, starting with a guideline. Make sure that this is straight by keeping an eye on the top of the page. Make this straight, keep an eye on the top of the page. You can use your pencil and check it out. Like that. Okay. Um, It's very interesting over here it touches but then it doesn't so it goes and does a little curve this is gonna be interesting it curves and it lines up with this rectangle so I'm gonna find this rectangle air draw touch and then I'm gonna come across the other way and touch and I'm creating these two sections okay then I'm going to curve it right here and it gonna, it's going to come down to this line. Watch this. There has to be a little space right here. So curve and then you have that little space. Then what it does is that it goes in a little bit and there's a little gap still. It doesn't go all the way in and then there's a gap. Watch. Then it comes out to halfway here so this line you can see the edge of the r2 that we already drew just a minute ago the part of the body and we're going to darken it so you can see it better okay there it is and now we're going here here see i'm just using halfway here as the point of reference and then it comes out straight don't make any of these marks dark okay these marks have to be kind of light um right here this curve then this is straight then diagonal and then here we're gonna make these also curve i am not sure how thick let me see it is thicker than this one so always comparing one thing to the next when you're drawing from observation is really a challenge because you have to interpret it you have to decide and i'm deciding on this one and it's going to go straight to the line and then you see how this matches and here's the corner of the diagonal is right here so i'm going to use these so this line is the same as this line 
okay you see it and here's your line of um, the line that we used earlier to keep us where we need to be then it goes down straight forming a rectangle right and then it does this what else thing that's what it does <laughs> And for some reason, it goes up like this, like down the middle, and this side is dark. Then, it has a little bit of a curve. And that curve is really tight right here. Let me see where does it finish. It ends right there. Whoa. Then it goes straight. And I'm trying to see how far. This is a really hard drawing. Straight down. Wow. It will help me to do this part first. Hold on. So right here, there's like a half circle. Keeping things the same somewhere in here. I'm also gonna see the half, and it goes. It lines up with the body, so line it up with the body, and it's like a rainbow. and easy steady okay then right here you're gonna make a line make a line and then it goes below that line below that line uh -huh. okay this is super Trying to see how it all lines up. Okay, it goes here. Okay, let's make this touch down. And on this side, you have the same thing also. Touch down. Uh -huh. And you see this part right here? You kind of air draw, air draw, air. It comes. Oh, it sort of lines up to here. And we're going to have the same kind of thing happening on this side. Oh, it's so hard. But this one, it lines up. But let's finish up this little bit and then we'll go back here. But we had the measurements. We had to keep everything even, Stephen, because it is going to be a symmetrical drawing. Um, so that symmetry is going to be very important for these legs. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. Oh. Right here, there's a line that goes below.
okay so I'm gonna make a line right here watch this here it has like a circle and then a line circle right above that then this line and then this line here is going to be like this and like this and then it's going to have a line that goes out and comes out 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 and then go out I had to simplify this part a little bit, it's kind of hard. So it's gonna go out, in, out. And then it goes in, and in. And those are twos. And back here it has There's one more detail in here, but I think I'm gonna come back and see if I can get this part of my R2 to look good. There's two lines right here. Oh my goodness, I can go on forever with this amount of detail that we have. Okay, it's a lot of detail. Let me do these before I forget. It's easy to forget these two that I just did right here and then right here I have this line and you have to look because when you're looking at this side it might be like slightly different um wow R2 has something else that's connecting right here he has like a connector It's as big as this, like one to here, like from top to bottom. It starts on the end, right here, the end. So it starts at that point and it ends at this point. So from here to here, and then we get, do a little curve. Where do you start? Where do you end? How do you curve? That's it. Already, that's looking good. So that's gonna be the same for this side. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. So at this end, come out, make a line, and then at the end of this, make a dot, and then make a little curve. That's 
inside there. And now this line, let's see, that line is that line. Come on out. This one curves. do I see? I think it's even less than this. I'm not getting carried away. I gotta go over here and curve it in. And it goes. Down to each other. Down here. At this point, it goes in. We're still on this line. Then it's gonna be the thickness that we did here is the same thickness that we're gonna do here, okay? So you have to keep an eye on what you already did to know what you're gonna do. Then this line, same as this line, it's diagonal right here and then close it like this, just like we did there, right? And then make it come down like we did before, nice and straight to know how far to go. This one matches that one. Then there's like a little notch. And it's almost halfway, maybe a little bit less than halfway. It's, this one's skinnier than that one. And then you color it in right away so we don't get confused and then erase this a little bit then right here we're gonna do a curve just like we did on that side curve and once we do the curve we go straight again okay it's like it matches that one see and when we do that, then we have to do this diagonal. So we go up to here, see, there it is. The diagonal goes here. And we do that little circle that we did there. See it, the circle, diagonal. And then we go straight again. Okie dokie. And then we can start erasing some of these lines that are stretching out a little bit far. Then over here, let's see what it, what it does. It goes out, see, it goes out, then it goes out. And then I'm gonna go here and do this softly. Okay, softly. I'm gonna go and figure how far to go. So take this out. that I did these lines I know how far to go and then it goes in and then in and then skinny right here clean this a little bit clean that little bit clean this a little bit this little bit right here that you can see This a little bit, clean this a little bit. We're getting to the end of this. Very good. Everything's looking very symmetrical. Inside the little half circles. Inside this one. Oh no. Doing a double check. Uh huh. I'm simplifying a little bit. There's more details in here. I mean, the details go on forever. 
so I have a little curve right here there it is and now that matches Alright, and this is my R2D2.